Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sustainable Business, the event. I'm Tom Idle, the editor of Sustainable Business, uh, the UK's leading climate change and sustainability magazine for business. This is the second year of SB, the event, and for those of you that attended last year, you'll remember that the show was endorsed and opened by the Energy and Climate Change Secretary, Ed Miliband, uh, who thought this, this show was a great idea and emphasised the point of business working very closely with government to achieve his vision for a low carbon economy. I think it's safe to say that that vision remains the same and is shared, thankfully, by the other two political parties. Um, but there's a hell of a long way to go before the UK's economy is truly decarbonised. So we hope that events like this one uh, will play a key role in making businesses think about their ideas again, reassess their priorities and recognise the opportunities that this whole agenda throws up. So over the course of the next three days, we've got some wonderful examples of businesses that have really grasped that concept and have really run with it. Um, and they're reaping the benefits, they're experiencing growth. And more important than that, they're experiencing growth, which is sustainable growth, which is all too important as we come out of recession. It's been an interesting year. Uh, we had the UN climate change talks in December, uh, which really put global warming on the map. We didn't get the deal we, look, we were looking for, but it got people talking. Um, and hopefully a deal isn't far away as we go into further rounds of talks um, throughout next year. We then had the dodgy climate change emails from the University of East Anglia, which put, ramped up uh, scepticism of climate change and put the whole agenda back again. Uh, according to an Ipsos Mori poll, the proportion of adults who believe climate change is a reality actually fell by a third last year. And a recent BBC poll found that 25% of people do not believe in global warming. So how do we turn that around? And I think it's down to business to really shift public's perceptions on this. We've had policies emanating from the Climate Change Act that have trickled down into new regulations, things like the carbon, carbon uh, reduction commitment, things like the incentives under the feed-in tariffs, both of which came into play earlier this month. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, businesses that are not used to being regulated by the Environment Agency are now going to have to be. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what effect that has. But despite the recession uh, and big cutbacks across the board, sustainability hasn't dropped off the corporate agenda. Um, in fact, as businesses look to stay lean and efficient, it's going to be cutting carbon, reducing waste, reducing food miles, sourcing ethically, all these sorts of things will become increasingly important in the future. But nobody said that any of this is easy. Uh, becoming a truly sustainable business is going to require leadership, it's going to require vision, it's going to requir require innovation. So this conference is all about business. Of course we'll be talking about energy, we'll be talking about environmental issues and climate change, but ultimately this is about business, this is about the bottom line. Because businesses that reduce their impacts, that can effectively engage with those stakeholders that are sceptical now of, of climate change that we talked about and use their environmental performance as a market differentiator. Those are the businesses that will come out of this uh, and really flourish. So we hope you enjoy the three days uh, and come away from this conference with plenty of enthusiasm, ideas, advice and energy to really sort of drive your business forward. So, so welcome um, and welcome to SB the event. Thank you.